Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the weekly Monday Motivation Podcast. No more excuses. I am your host, Sandy Ballard, the Badass Business Coach. If you are watching this, you can see it says Badass Business Coach. So thanks for being here, for listening, for watching, and sharing the podcast with others, and for investing in you. Yes, and as I was thinking about what to what to talk about today, I remembered, even though I remembered last week, that it truly was the last week or, or yeah, last podcast for year seven. Been doing this for seven years. And today, so today is number one of year eight. And I was like, hmm, what have I talked about over the years? You know, because goals, this first quarter, it's so important to review your goals. Why? Well, we've all heard the stats on how people give up on resolutions. Um, 23% quit in the first week. Only 36% uh, continue after the month, first month, and only 9% actually achieve their New Year's resolutions. You know, goals and resolutions are a little bit different because, you know, goals are a little more tangible. And, well, goals are, I mean, everything, resolutions and goals, they're about motivation, about accountability. But really with goals, it's about understanding what is the difference between it between a goal and a task, right? Drives me batshit crazy when people put their tasks on their goal sheet. It's like, come on. So we talk about that, but but really looking at in this first quarter, now that we've, we're officially ending the first quarter, review your goals. Are you on track? Are you off track? Why? Why not? You know, um, it just so, it's just so crazy. This is the most important quarter. I can't say that enough because we need to look at where we are are we even making progress? You know, it's a slow start sometimes to the year to get going. So we sometimes get frustrated, get overwhelmed and quit. So I want you to not quit. I want you to keep going, keep on keeping on, right? So I took a look back at what did I talk about since 2016? And of course, the first year, spring clean your goals. Yes. When you're re reviewing them, are they still relevant to you as you've evolved? You know, sometimes you have a certain goal that's you know want to you want to build on, and a certain goal that maybe you haven't achieved. So it's a carryover goal, which you know got to understand that. But is it still relevant to who you've become? So really take a look at that. So if you're not making much progress, look at what your goals really are, and are they still relevant to who you want to become? Right. And then 2017, whew, are you worth working for it? I mean, come on, when you're reviewing your goals. Are you putting in the effort? Are you putting in the work? Um, in that year, 2017 in March, I talked about Carlos Santana, an interview I saw with him. And he talked about how hard he had to work for what he wanted. And I'm like, it's Carlos Santana. You know, I don't know if you know who he is. Should. Everybody's probably thinking, it's Carlos Santana. He's born with that gift. He doesn't have to work. Oh, hell no. Much like any athlete, musician, anyone that's successful as hell, you have to work for it. You have to put in the effort. And so you have to decide if you're off track or if you're on track. So if you're off track, are you really worth it? How badly are you wanting to achieve what you want to achieve for you, right? And if you're on track, great. So still investing in yourself. Don't, don't take the coasty road take the tougher road, but looking at how you can still keep putting in the work. Cause a lot of times people are like, oh yeah, I'm on track. I can just coast. <laughs> no. Do you think Carlos Santana was like, I'm a badass. I'm, I'm a gazillionaire now. I've made it. Everyone knows who I am. Do you think he just stopped practicing? Oh, hell no. <laughs> no. But from that year, from that um, conversation and podcast, book number two, how badly do you want it was born? So there you go. You can look up my second book 2018 keep the momentum going you know as you review your goals what do you find if you've achieved a small goal that's attached to a bigger goal how do you keep going you know or perhaps maybe you freaked out because you hit it so easily you know did you prematurely celebrate and take two steps backward it happens you know we've had some chaotic years you know so looking at how do you keep the momentum going and in 2019, distractions. Oh, distractions are everywhere. Like my cat that just walked behind me. Yep. <laughs> there you go. 
as much as, you know, I love my lists to help me stay focused, it doesn't always work. Distractions are part of life. Responsibilities get sucked away and it can help you or cause you to get off track, fall behind and yes, feel overwhelmed and give up like I talked about. You know, so looking at how do you <laughs> review, how do you review your goals and make sure that your cat is not walking through your podcast re <laughs> recording. <laughs> ah, well, making sure I'm at a higher table or a desk that she can't get to. So distractions. So as you're reviewing your goals, are you off track? What distractions have you had? How can you overcome them, right? And then in 2020, oh my gosh, surviving the chaos. We all know what the hell happened in 2020. And yeah, I started that next year in the midst of it, right as we just got told to shut down and had no idea what the hell was next, right? And that two weeks, <laughs> yep, two weeks, right? It was time to pivot. A lot of us had to pivot. Many people lost their jobs. Many people's jobs got busier and businesses too. You know, chaos was in sw full swing for sure. And 2021 was about growth, making sure you know, it, what you're doing is a good use of your time, right? So again, as you're reviewing your goals, is what you're doing a good use of your time? Are you, make, are you making progress? Are you not? Well, if you're doing things that aren't a good use of your time, a lot of times it can get you off track because you're doing stuff you shouldn't really be doing. You're doing stuff that you could pay someone a hell of a lot less to do, right? You know, but then you also have to look at do it or pay for it but what's it costing you? You know, there's times in my career and some of my clients' careers that they couldn't afford to hire out. They couldn't, you know, they, but learning, can you delegate it? You know, and if you can't, can you hire it out? If you can't afford to hire it out, let's work on a plan on how to get you to where you can, because what's it costing you? How much are you paying yourself to do that minuscule task? Not discounting, hiring someone to do it, not saying, oh, because I'm going to pay you 15, 20, $40 an hour, and you're paying yourself a hell of a lot more that that person is lesser. It's just that task is not your good, a good use of your time. It's not maybe even in your wheelhouse of, of what you can do. Right. You know, and then 2022 celebrating and looking to the future. That was at the beginning or end of year six and the beginning of year seven, which just ended for me, right? I talked about, wow, six years. I, you know, I don't really think it, it hit me until then. You know, what did I want year seven to look like? You know, as you end a year of a, a year in business or a year in your career or a year in life in general, you know, what happened in that previous year? So taking a look at what had happened, not just in that first quarter, of 2022, but what happened in the previous six years? What happened a lot, right? I moved to California, COVID, you know, all this stuff, a lot of crazy things. So, you know, what did I want year seven to look like? Well, and by the end of year seven, I had started doing videos. Yes. And I just got on TikTok. Don't judge me on that. And I don't care if you do, because I'm just getting used to it. So I made some changes. I would I thought about what do I want this to look like? And yes, I was getting a lot of suggestions and and requests for video. So here you are. Here I am, right? You know, so what did you do as I quickly get my cat to stop making noise? Um, what did you do at the end of a year and the beginning of another year? Some people's fiscal years aren't at you know January 1. Some or a lot of businesses and nonprofits are June. So looking at that. So it doesn't matter where your first year begins and ends. What did you do to review and what do you want it to look like next, right? And then as year 7 ended last week's podcast and just the end of really this first quarter is energy you know, reviewing your goals, where is your energy? Is what you're doing filling your energy? Is it is it fulfilling your life? And, or is it sucking the life out of you? You know, I talked about, you know, what is in your world? What's in your environment? Is it helping your energy level or is it sucking it out of you? Is when you're working, 
your, your high energy time. You have to look at a lot of those things, you know, you know, so what will year eight bring for me as a coach, as a person, I've been coaching now for 10 years. So I'm in my 11th year. So 11th year of coaching, 29 years as a business owner. What will 2023 bring for me? What will 2023 bring for you? Yes, we're at the end of the first quarter. I can't preach it enough. If you have not reviewed your goals, review them now. Review those damn goals now. Look at where you're doing, where you are, what's happening, what's not happening, what's working, what's not working. Contact me if you're on track, off track, or perhaps you missed that damn train altogether, but you know you want more. We got this. In 2020, that was the thing. You know, we were in this together. We were in it separate, but we're still all in it together. No matter of, but in, in like I said, what the thing is, we still need to work and row in the same direction, right? And a lot of times, if you have a business, whether you have business partners or not, staff, volunteers, interns, you've got to be rowing in the same direction. So really looking at how are things going for you, for the world around you, for your environment. Even if you have, you're just a sole proprietor like myself, is your world, is your environment, are the people and things in your life supportive of you and the direction you want to go? So contact me, Sandy at sandyballard.com. Sandy with an I. Why? Yeah, because my mother was a pain in the ass. There you go. So we got this 2023 goal review now. What have you accomplished in the first quarter? What are you behind on? What will help you? And what? Do you want next for you? I look forward to hearing from you. Follow me on social media. Check out my TikTok. Humor me. Follow me. I'd love it. So I appreciate you. Subscribe to my YouTube. Do it all. I look forward to hearing from you. And I look forward to helping you make sure you're on track for the biggest, most badass year you can have. Cheers.